Hi everyone, my name is Chen Xingxu from National Tsinghua University in Taiwan. I'm happy to present our work on error concealment of dynamic 3D point cloud streaming. This is a joint work with Chen Hao Wu, Xing'er Li, Rahul Rajesh, Professor Wei Chang Wei from National University of Singapore. Wei Chang is also remotely attending the workshop. Two of the most popular 3D representations are meshes and 3D point clouds. Compared to meshes, 3D point clouds are easier to capture. As uh, we try to show you on the right hand side, you can use uh, a LiDAR, a millimeter wave radar, or an RGBD camera to capture dynamic 3D point cloud. Each of the point cloud consists of many points, and uh, each of the point comes with uh, 3D coordinates, the geometry information, as well as optional attributes such as colors, normal, reflectance, and so on. 3D point clouds are easier to edit, uh, therefore they are more suitable for real-time applications. Dynamic 3D point cloud has quite a few applications, including teleconferencing, holographic telepresence, extended reality, autonomous driving, and more. Many of these applications are networked and real-time, therefore uh, streaming dynamic 3D point cloud from one side to the other side is crucial for the success of these applications. The standardization group, for example, MPEG has also observed this and they have defined a couple of uh, point cloud compression algorithms, including video-based point cloud compression, VPCC project. VPCC project each of the 3D point cloud sequence into multiple 2D video sequence, and then use the highly optimized 2D codec to compress all these 2D video sequences. The resulting B stream can therefore be streamed using the existing uh, streaming protocol, for example, real-time transport protocol or RTP for interactive applications. However, RTP streaming is vulnerable to packet loss. On the left, we show a reconstructed 3D point cloud sequence under 5% packet loss rate. You can observe missing point cloud frames and uh, distortion in terms of geometry and color. One way to solve this problem is to apply an error recovery mechanism, such as forward error correction or retransmission but error recovery may not always work, and the receiver may need to perform error concealment to reduce the negative impact due to missing points. In the literature, there has been work on error concealment for 3D point cloud sequences, but they mainly focus on capture error rather than packet loss. In this paper, we study error concealment for point cloud streaming over lossy network. We first conduct experiments to understand the negative impact of packet loss on the quality of reconstructed 3D point cloud sequence. We found that the VPCC codec solely rely on the 2D video codec for error concealment, which is insufficient. As you can observe on the left hand side, we can still see a lot of glitches in the reconstructed 3D point call sequence. Therefore, we propose two error concealment techniques for dynamic 3D point call streaming. With our techniques, we can reduce the number of glitches. As you can see on the right hand side, the concealed reconstructed 3D point call looks much better. More importantly, we hope to stimulate more work in this emerging research direction. And in the following, I will introduce the details of our research. Next, I give a quick overview on VPCC. This video shows a simplified VPCC encoder on the left hand side and decoder on the right hand side. The encoder tag row dynamic point call sequence as input and generate three sub -bit stream. The first two sub -bit stream are geometry bit stream and occupancy bit stream. And the other bit stream is the attribute bit stream 
that contain mainly the colors of points. These three bitstreams are multiplexed into a global BPCC bitstream, which is sent over the network. The decoder side, the three sub bitstream will be decoded by 2D video decoder and then converted back to the reconstructed dynamic point call. We show examples of uh, geometry, occupancy, and attribute images. The important thing here is each image consists of multiple pages, and the arrangement of pages may be different from one point call frame to another point call frame across the sequence. Each VPCC stream contains a sequence of uh, nail units, which are essentially packets. These nail units can be roughly classified into six types. Some of the nail units carry metadata. These nail units are shorter, but the metadata are more important. Therefore, we assume these nail units are well protected by forward error correction, and we will only consider dropping nail units from occupancy video data, geometry video data, and attribute video data in our experiments. Next, we will move to our first contribution, quantifying distribution. We consider seven avatar point call sequences from the MPEG dataset in our experiments. We configure VPCC into O intra mode for better error resiliency. In this mode, the geometry information of each point call frame is encoded into a pair of INP frames. The attribute information or color information of the same point call frame is encoded into another pair of INP frames. The occupancy map is encoded into a single I frame. After we get the VPCC stream, we generate the distorted VPCC stream as follows. We first parse the original VPCC stream to get a trace of uh, the nail units. And then we go through the trace and mark the nail units to be dropped, either manually or using a GE model. And then we parse the original VPCC stream again and fill the marked nail unit with zero to get a distorted VPCC stream. We consider three objective quality metrics for the reconstructed 3D point call sequences. The first one is a Hasendorf distance, which represents the maximum geometry distance between two point calls. The second one is a geometric distance or GPSMR, that is the average geometry distance. We also consider color PSMR or CPSMR. If not otherwise specified, we report the luminance CPSMR in the results. In our experiments, we systematically drop packet in different sub B stream. For example, we drop packet in occupancy sub B stream, geometry sub B stream, attribute sub B stream. We also drop packets in both in two sub B stream or even three sub B stream. In other words, we consider all combinations. For occupancy B stream and the geometry B stream, we also consider dropping I frame or P frame. After decoding the distorted VPCC stream, we render the reconstructed 3D point call into 2D images for subjective inspection. Here we show some simple results from the loot sequence after dropping iframes. We observe that if we drop packet in occupancy map, 
or geometry image, we will observe clear geometry distortion. If we drop packet in attribute substitution, we will observe incorrect color, for example, around the head of the person. Of course, if we drop packet in multiple substitution, a more severe distortion can be observed, both in terms of geometry and color. Such observations are consistent with the objective quality metrics and the detail of the objective quality metrics results of the loot sequence can be found in our paper. We performed the same experiments across all seven uh, sequences, and we found that for most of the sequence, the same observation holds. For example, if we drop packets uh, from occupancy or geometry sub stream, we will suffer from lower geometry quality. Um, however, if we drop packets from attribute sub stream, we will suffer from lower color quality. The only exception is the queen sequence. Queen sequence is not affected by different packet drop pattern. And we take a closer look at the queen sequence and we found that it has the lowest complexity. And in fact, if we compare to point call frame in queen sequence or adjacent point call frames in off queen sequence, uh, we see very little difference between them. Therefore, a simple frame copy error concealment performed in 2D space is already good enough for queen sequence. But this is only for queen. For other sequences, this is not enough, and uh, that's why we believe advanced error concealment techniques, perhaps in 3D domain, are needed. Next, I will introduce our second contribution two error concealment approaches inspired by implanting and motion estimation work in the literature. Our first error concealment technique deal with packet loss in attribute sub stream. If we lose a packet in attribute sub stream, some points in the reconstructed point call may have incorrect colors. This is because the error concealment was done in 2D space without uh, any knowledge about 3D information. What we proposed is to perform error concealment in the 3D space. For the affected point call, we iterate through each of the points, and we try to find the closest point in the previous point call in terms of uh, ge geometric distance and then we copy over the color. On the slide, we show a simple example. The leftmost one is the uh, reconstructed point color without any loss. The middle one is uh, if we drop a packet from the attribute sub stream, we observe that uh, there are severe color distortion around the face of the avatar. And the rightmost one is the concealed version using the RPC just presented, uh, which is able to recover or conceal the error around the avatar's face. And we also observe huge improvement in terms of uh, color PSNR from 18 to 31 dB. The simple algorithm may not work in some condition, for example, if the dynamic 3D point call sequence has uneven surfaces or fast movement. Our second error concealment technique deal with the geometry distortion. Um, in this case, the affected uh, 3D point call frame will not be reconstructed at all. That is, uh, for current point call frame, we will have uh, nothing, and we need to synthesize this uh, point call frame using the previous and the next point call frames. Our idea is to interpolate each of the missing point in the current point call frame using a pair of points in the previous 
and the next point called trend. The main challenge of um, uh, of this algorithm is how can we match the points in the previous and the next point called trend because there is no uh, explicit mapping defined in dynamic point call sequences. Our solution is to match the point using both the attribute that's the RGB color and the position that is the XYZ coordinates. And in our experiments, we use Euclidean distance and we assign uh, one by one weight between color and position to find the uh, the best matching points. But of course, the design space is huge. Our second area concealment technique also works well if you compare the rightmost and the middle image, which is um, also reflected by the improvement in terms of geometry PSNR. Uh, however, we still see some issues uh, around the hair and hand. We see small holes and cracks, and we believe uh, more comprehensive solutions are needed. Now let me wrap up my presentation. In this work, we quantify the negative impact of speculos on dynamic 3D point cloud streaming, and we try a couple of preliminary error concealment techniques. Of course, there are more need to be done. Several future directions are possible. For example, we can integrate error concealment techniques in HEVC, VPCC, and the rendering engine. But how to achieve all this in real time is uh, an exciting challenge. Thank you for listening, and uh, we are ready to take questions.